I know how much you all like using spray cans to do your paint jobs and checking out cool new spray techniques for, well, paint cans so you don't have to buy paint guns. Sorry to generalize there, I know it's not all of you, but to be honest, the videos that I use spray cans in get 10 times as many views as the ones where I don't. So, figured I'd show you a new one. I was just experimenting with uh, a new technique that allowed me to get this paint job. This is just a little test piece of metal. Makes funny noises. Anyway, allowed me to get this paint job using spray cans. So I'm going to use something similar on this guitar. I know you've seen this guitar a few times. If you've been watching my videos, it's the one that I do all my goofy tests on. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and spray this now with some paint cans and I'm sure I'll do it, uh, speed it up for you to actually watch it. But I'll paint it and then I'll kind of explain what I did and hopefully this technique serves you well. So, you're probably wondering what I was basically drizzling on here earlier. Uh, it wasn't syrup. I just wanted to make sure that the guitar was nice and clean. So, I put dish soap all over it. I'm joking. It was dish soap, but it wasn't to make sure that the guitar is clean. So, let's see if this works. All right, that's really shiny, so probably difficult for you to see. So I'll bring it in closer so you can see it. By the way, I have a video explaining this guitar stand a little more if you're interested in making one. Works really good for this kind of stuff. Only for bolt-on necks though. Anyway, there we go. The cleanest guitar of all time. I still have to clean out the cavities, so maybe not the cleanest guitar of all time, but still pretty clean because I painted it with dish soap. Anyway, that's about enough of my corny jokes for one video, so hopefully you guys liked the paint job and found this useful. If you're actually planning on doing this, make sure you clear coat it after to protect it. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.